Okay, so this is the diffraction experiment in which we will look at the diffraction from a single slit and interference from a double slit. So we have a laser, it's a diode laser, in which we turn it on, it will send out the laser beam. So that's the laser. And this is the diffraction slits. So we have single slits over here. These are four single slits and then four double slits. So we will use, use these and we will not use the others. The size of the slits, which is the thickness of uh, the, the size of the gap is, is mentioned over here and also put the data for the slits are here. So we will, we can turn this and obtain different slits in front of the middle right here. So the laser beam would enter right in the middle and come out from the appropriate slit. So we'll set it up for a single slit of 0 0.04 millimeters uh, opening or width and turn on the laser and here okay so we turn on the laser and we keep it so that it's uh, the spot comes over here not very visible in the in the figure but we'll turn off the light and then it will be better and then we take the 0 0.04 millimeters and you put it here and make sure that the laser goes into that hole in the middle so we don't have the optics bench which makes it much easier but not too hard this way either so we we get it here and you can see this uh, the first order diffraction a zeroth order here and that side fringes which are not so easily visible but if we take a sheet of paper, keep it here, so the laser spot goes and as you move it further away, it gets bigger. So we have our screen over here at some distance and if we take a video from this one, then we can see fraction fringe main fringe here zeroth order and the first order fringes on either side cover it a little bit to make it dark then you can see the higher order fringes now what you need to do is to measure using the ruler measure the distance from the first well, you can measure from here to here and divide by two or measure from here to here and then divide by two and you get the appropriate values. Or you can measure the, from the second one if you can see it, which we can when it's dark enough. You can see higher order fringes also. Now, there is no, nothing inside. This is just a nice uniform increasing intensity then decreasing intensity thing. So when we look at the interference, then we will see fringes inside of this one. So now we chain this to set it up for interference. And now we can see the fringes inside here. This is the main diffraction envelope and inside that is the interference fringe due to the double slit. So here we have the double slit. And then we have again the higher orders on either side and each of them has those fringes in them. Okay, so this time you'll again put a ruler and measure the distance between these fringes, which is rather small. So we need to increase the distance from the slit up to here that has to be made much bigger so that this gets wider. Since the space between the orders of the interference patterns is too small uh, when the distance uh, is small so we set the laser up here and it goes onto that wall 
and then we can place this here let's make sure it goes into it and then we can see the pattern over here the distance from the slits to the wall is uh, measured and we use that uh, it's around 500 centimeters somewhat more than 500 centimeters 